Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of Ueno san wa Bukia. So, last episode, we had an Ueno robot, which did its best, you know, and we had a new pet slash mascot, Tom, t -t -t Tamo, I believe it was called, that was made from Ueno's tights or something. That was that, that was last episode, so this is this episode, hopefully we get like a new character, that'd be cool, you know, but at the very least, hopefully it's entertaining, so let's get into it. Three. Two, one, play. The Peace Spectre. That's... Yeah, we never know with her, honestly. It could be anything. I mean, every school has something like that. You know, a certain number of the legends... Like a piano that plays by itself, or a ghost that appears into a mirror, you know. That sort of stuff. Drink it, you big baby! A lot of sports club people on this show, oddly enough. Like tennis and swimming. You know, I saw cat ears be one of the things flying by, so that should be fun, seeing a scene with those. If that's one of our inventions we see in the anime, which I hope it is, maybe they'll make you more cat-like. A mermaid? That'd be- that's- we, should, we need to investigate that one. Okay, that's pretty scary. That too. What? Okay. We should probably investigate that one too. Okay, I should probably have written that down, but... A Game Boy? Oh, that's Peace Spectre, okay. So that's an antenna and a horn. Trying to show me some leg? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Number 13? The robot? Oh. I like us wearing a gym uniform. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that was already obvious. Oh wow, that evil face. <laughs> okay. Is that the overall plan here? <laughs> okay. I guess we'll see how Tonica reacts to that. Probably not how you envision it. If I know this show as well as I do. You scared me. I think you scared my cat too. <laughs> uh, you scared me just a little bit. Don't exaggerate. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Oh, did you scare her a lot? <laughs> oh, oh wow, she did scare her. Oh god, uh, we might need to clean up here. Uh, that just, gee. Uh, probably should have brought a cup. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you scare people, Ueno. Hope you're happy. <laughs> uh, poor Yamashita. That's gotta be pretty embarrassing. Really? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently she's not very good with this kind of horror stuff. Uh wow, she's that considered as considered a bueno. That's pretty sad. <laughs> I don't know where he went, I mean... Oh, did she just take those off? I mean, she's a robot, it doesn't matter. Yes, remove your wet clothing immediately. Very important to do. Okay, water removal. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Just sucking that up. Now let's just put this back on. Okay, it's a pretty convenient robot. I mean, we already solved the problem. No need to worry. <laughs> not really. Not as effective as the robot. Okay. E.E. E. Reserver? Let me in. That's not a hair color. <laughs> That's why he knows his first. Good man. I mean, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Just let her run in. Okay. Why are you out here? Oh, okay. Nice camera angle. Makes sense. Okay, did you... Good guy. Oh, wow. I just, she's just doing this on purpose now. Now that I'm complaining. So we have a sports vodka here. Nice. Your what? Okay. So we're gonna have to investigate your body, basically. <laughs> Or maybe you wet yourself like Miyamashita. <laughs> I don't know. Don't bring that up in front of her. Wouldn't have to tell me twice. Okay, what's that do? Oh, that's the PE reserver. <laughs> oh god. In other words, if you wear this, you can get as wet as you want without, without issue. I really wish you would stop stopping people from stripping, you, you might know. I mean, it's a waste of sweat, though. <laughs> oh, God. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm expecting no less with this show. I mean, I, I still drink it beforehand, personally, but... <laughs> uh, drink my water. <laughs> yeah, dude, why would you pass up this opportunity? What, a beta? <laughs> okay. That's the difference. <laughs> that makes the difference. <laughs> uh, do it, man. Do it. Yeah, it would. <laughs> well, he's having his own fun over there. Whatever you want to, man. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, oh god, yes. All of it. The premium beverage, man. Will he do it, though? I'm guessing not, but... Whoa! Oh, okay. I'm okay with this. I am more than okay with this. <laughs> Suck up her bodily juices, Ueno. All of them. Don't leave a drop behind. <laughs> I think you may be awakening to a new world. <laughs> Phrasing. Okay. I don't- trust me, I know how you feel. You don't even know. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> Let it- Oh. That works too. Just let a new one suckle on you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good god. Uh... Again, I'm so glad I'm filmed from the from above the waist with these videos. Yeah, that was that was a good final scene. That was an amazing final scene. Oof. I, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, that was mu that was much better than I expected it to be. That how that final scene went. I couldn't have gotten much better, really. Yeah, this was this was a good episode. This was a good episode. Make no mistake. Uh, what? Why is it over? Why must it be over? Why must you do this to me? But okay, yeah. That was the uh the fifth episode of Ueno San wa Bukio. Our first our first segment here was a kind of a horror type one. So, you know, like I said, most schools have these sort of mysteries and stuff and Ueno wanted to investigate them, but you know, for the reason of wanting to get reactions out of Tanaka, that's the main reason why. No other real reason beyond that. And she made efforts for that end. However, what she was not expecting was when she attempted to scare Tanaka, the one that actually got affected by it was Yamashita. Now, Yamashita's always been a very quiet character in the show, kind of a background character in a lot of, a lot of scenes. She doesn't really have a lot of presence, you know, doesn't talk a lot, so it's really easy to just kind of forget about her. Like, when you're watching a scene, you, you're, you're not usually thinking about, hey, I wonder how Yamashita feels about this, you know, at least I'm speaking for myself. So... And that really came to light with the scene, because Yamashita was not a big fan of any of the scary horror stuff, but she kept quiet about it. Which is something I didn't pick up on in the slightest until we was made pretty, pretty clear. So yeah, when she scared Tanaka, Yamashita was the one that was truly terrified and just completely wet herself. Not just a little bit. Not just a little bit of a wet spot, but just like drenching the floor uh, underneath her, you know, streams coming down her legs. It was pretty... It was about as much as you could let out, really. Like, it was all blood out. Which is pretty great. So yeah, Ueno felt a little bit bad about that, clearly, you know, Yamashita pushing herself to not ruin the fun for her. It was, you know, Yamashita's a good, good good person, a good person. He, Tanaka ran off to help, I guess, but he didn't really do much in the end. We had the robot show up, which helped out because she, like, took the, the drenched clothing and squeezed it and sucked out all the juices and sucked up juices from the floor. And like, hey, they're fine, let's put them back on. And then Tanaka showed back up when he was no longer needed, so... But yeah, that was pretty good, you know? Another scene involving Yuren in the show, so... I see the author as a fetish, you know, that's that's fine. But, you know... Unfortunately, nobody did anything too weird in that scene. I was kind of hoping we would get something, like maybe... Tanaka gets out on all four and tries to lick it up, but no, nothing like that happened, unfortunately. But, uh, the next scene... Okay, I want a new character, and we got that with this episode. I don't remember her name. I don't. There were just there's too much other things to focus on when she showed up. But she's a very athletic girl, uh, you know, sports girl, and she got wanted to go through the window on the veranda, hidden the window. I was like, what? Uh, what are you doing out there? Oh, I wanted to come see one out, and this was the fastest way. I didn't think the door would be the wall window would be locked, so that was that was my bad. But hey, I'm in here now, and there's a couple very deliberate shots of her butt. 
not completely sure what that was about, you know, whether she's just deliberately sticking it towards the camera, because that's what she's into, but, you know, it just, it was, it was quite obvious, and I appreciate that. But, yeah, she came in there, she said her problem was apparently her, her crazy amount of sweat, you know, and she wanted to, to, to deal with that. And again, another problem that could be resolved by just licking it up, but Tanaka didn't want to do that. But then Ueno showed up, and she's like, hey, I, I got this, this, this PE revolver, revolver for you. It'll suck up all that sweat great. Not only does it do that, it allows you to squirt it back out through a tube, which is not only in the bottom part, but the top part as well, so... Oh, I know it's a pretty pretty good inventor, in my opinion. We're always, always thinking of everything. <coughs> now, this scene reminded me a lot of our uh, introduction scene to Kitanaga. Because, you know, her, hers also involved clothing to a degree. Although she took hers completely off. This character is getting new clothing. But both of them were trying to deliberately provoke Tanaka into doing something. You know, you had Kitanaga who was just kind of striking poses and stuff and, you know, trying to get his attention and did not expect him to just kind of poke through it. Whereas this character got her little tube and was like, hey, Tanaka, you, uh, you want to you drink? Give my delicious water? I was like, no, no, thank you. What? Come on, this is my premium bodily juices here. Are you sure you don't want to just, you know, partake in it? And he's like, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. Okay, maybe the bottom is a problem. Here, you can have the top one. He's like, huh, well, I mean, that, that, that changes things. Which, you know, I get how that would definitely change things. It wouldn't matter to me, personally. I would do either one. I'd do both at the same time if I could. But, you know, with Tanaka, that's, it's, you know, it's just a preference. And he was actually going to do it. Like, she was pushing the issue just enough where he was actually, I think he was about to actually do it. And Ueno knew that. So what did Ueno do? Well, first of all, I was pretty sure that Tanaka wouldn't do it in the end, you know? So I was, I was ready for that. I was, I was already ready for that disappointment. But what I was not expecting and ready for, and was a very pleasant surprise, was Ueno jumping into it, grabbing that that teat and just sucking on it herself. So that was that was that was great. That was fantastic. That was everything I could have hoped for with that scene. That was pretty much as good as it could have gotten. That was far that was far better than Tonica drinking it himself. That was that was much better. She just grabbed all that and just started sucking passionately. And our our new character over there was just very much appreciating it. You know, her special feelings were rising to the top, and at first I thought we were going down a Yuri angle there, but now we kind of went for a maternal instinct instead, you know, because it was quite obviously supposed to be representing breastfeeding and all that, so it makes sense, of course, and I'm I'm still okay with that. <laughs> Make no mistake, I'm still okay with that. But just, yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. She just, just sucking away at that, and she made a comment about how, how she was sucking on it. It was, it was great. That was one of my favorite scenes of the show so far, I would say, easily. That was was pretty good. I still would have put a little bit better if she sucked from the bottom, you know, like on her knees and everything. That would have been a little bit better, but I'm still very happy with what we got here, to be sure. But yeah, she's definitely a very interesting, fun new character. I hope to see more of her. But yeah, that's, that's a crazy amount of sweat. But it's a great way to recycle, you know, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, there's a lot of scenes in the show involved liquid. I've kind of come to the conclusion of like a lot of them. We had our very first scene with Ueno's recycled urine. We had the Milky Way thing with the water. We had you know Yamashita wetting herself, and then this sweat. Like, there's a lot of liquid-based scenes in the show. So then I've realized. But yeah, just really good episode. There's a real takeaway there. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.